Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive. And Jonas, you're the man on us. It's the. I'm here. Oh, you are definitely there. All of you. Yep, in playing that 21, dude. In your glory, Jonas. Mm -hmm. oh, look at him hurtling, dude. That's me. No, it's not. I can do that. You cannot do that. I couldn't do it if I tried. You could not. Nope. I would try, though, and I would fail, and I would look like a gazelle. <laughs> you wouldn't look like a gazelle. You'd look like a... like a, Trash like, panda? you look like you'd be in a full body cast. If you I would be. You I would did, be. You never did, like, track and field. You ever, like, run... I like shot put. I don't know what that is. That's where you know, throw you... a big, like, a 12-pound ball the size of a uh, softball. Yeah, the ball tossers. Of course you want to do the ball tossing. I always, like, wanted to do pole vault, but, like, it's intimidating. I tell you, look, fam. I and I've never you. been a small man, so that also. I got you. I always looked at those bars, and I was like, yo, those things are, like, 10 pounds away. 10 pounds at the tip away from just, like, breaking and tending me, hurtling to the ground and then killing me. Yeah, oh, funny enough, uh, you know got when, uh, when I was, like, the only time I did shot put was in junior high, and I never even, like, was good enough to go to an event, because it was always, like, the top three guys of our, you know, it was, like, ten of us, you know, um, but, like, we, we would have to go, we would go to the junior high to practice, because we were in junior high, but the, they, the high school didn't have a pole vault area to, tr to try, so the, the guy who was on the high school pole vault team would be there practicing right by where we did shot put mm -hmm. and he would always like mess with us and stuff just because he was the older guy and he would just like bs with us and one day he showed up and had a broken effing arm the pole broke and he fell and broke his arm yeah. he didn't do it while we were there mm -hmm. but like he, he had a broken arm because the pole broke mm -hmm. and he fell like 10 foot straight to the ground and broke his arm and see and that's the thing with track and field man it's it's kind of dangerous man yes I dude, kind of, I feel I'm like not gonna more... lie, dude. I like watching like track and field events like on TV. I like the Olympics and stuff. Yeah, dude. Like, like I don't know why I like like the the races with the batons and stuff. That's super, it's just like people like running really fast. Yeah. It's like so impressive. They're like endurance, and then like watching like a professional throw a f and javelin or a discus or something. I'm like that is ridiculous. Where they do that hammer throw where they like hold the thing with a handle and it's like a weight at the yeah, end and they yeah. spin. I'm like, how do you like why? <laughs> That's your life dedication? Go. Yeah, yeah. I've never really been a super big fan of just watching people run or anything like that. Like, come on. Like, I can run, all right? I could probably be. as fast as them. No, nah, dude, I could beat them. I just don't try. Um, I'm, I'm being facetious. Can Jackie join her dynamite over here? <laughs> <laughs> Usain Bolt tonight. <laughs> Usain might. <laughs> But uh, I would say is that my favorite event has always been gymnastics. Dude, I love watching gymnastics. Because it's just a spectacle of watching this human being fly around two, two bars or, like, doing backflips on a beam yeah. the size of, like, their foot. And I'm just like, wow, that, that right there is amazing. Oh, yeah, my two favorite gymnastics events are uh, the, uh, the uneven bars amazing. and uh, um, the, the vault. Where they run and jump off the springboard thing and do like in the and then do a flip and land and they got that thing is yeah I like that too but I would have to say uneven bars and like floor routine are my favorites. Floor See, routine. I'm not big about the floor routine. Yo, like, the mm. when they freaking run at like full speed and then they do like a bunch of flips and they like do ten uh, half twists. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna. Lie. I love that ish. Yeah, I even dude. got to the point where I started watching like rhythmic gymnastics, yeah, which is where the they beam is interesting too, dude. It's crazy. It is gymnastics cool. is just so impressive. The rings, dude, that's impressive. Yeah. Like, that's the women don't do that, the guys do it. Yeah. But that is like. It's definitely a show of strength. Oh, dude, it's like gymnastics is just like anyone who does gymnastics is a badass. <laughs> how, do you feel, how do you feel about rhythmic gymnastics? I don't even know what that is. Rhythmic gymnastics is when they do the floor routine, but they have like a ball or the ribbon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, usually always, that's how they do it, right? It's like human dressage where it's just like dancing with a with an item in like, you know, perfect. I guess I've never degrees. seen them do the ball. I've always seen the ribbons. And they always make, because it's always like a performance. Yeah. They're like getting, they're like grooving with the music. Yeah, and it's, it's a dance and it's about how beautiful and how precise your angles are and stuff like uh -huh. that. Fluid and, and yeah. like, yeah. Or the hoop. They all have the hoop. The hoop is a very popular one, too. 
But it's like the rhythm the ball. Oh, that's or the good. Hoop. At least that dude th hit me and he threw it right to the to get out of my face. Yeah, the gymnastics. I would have to say number one event. Number two, if I were to say anything, probably diving. Dude, again, I agree. Diving is amazing. Yeah, because that, like, I've never dived before. <laughs> yeah, me neither. But, I've like, watching dove. them jump from that high, do all those spins, and, like, hit the water with no splash is like, what the hell just did I just watch? It gives me a little anxiety. Like, I need to know how deep this pool is. And then again, I need to test it right before I dive. Yeah. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I feel like I need somebody with a dipstick just yes. to make sure it hasn't lost any volume. Squirrel and those dudes used to jump off that bridge by his house into the water. I mean, Did you ever watch him do that over there? I probably. And I probably was just like, you're crazy? That sounds like something I would do. Just say like you're crazy and then continue. Like, I, I mean, I would watch him jump off. I'm like, yeah, you guys do it. Do I'm your thing. Off no effing bridge, dog. I'm not jumping off. A that's the first time I've ever heard you say dog in my life. I'm not jumping off. No <laughs> you were like, that's my passion, dog. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it, though. Nope. I never did it either. I'm like, no, I'm dead, dude. You ain't getting me to jump off of nothing. I'm not jumping off of a bridge, a helicopter, a plane, a I'll building. I'll about a plane. Doing that. Nope. Why? For what? You ain't lived to you. You ain't lived till you lived. I ain't lived till I till I felt like I was gonna die. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, that ish parted like a red sea. Yeah, Get out of here, bro. You ain't that fast. I don't understand why people don't think you lived until you felt like you were gonna die. I don't. I, how is oh, that? Look at how is dance, that even a dude. thing? I don't know, dude. Until you face death. No, it's dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. Until you're like, nah, dude. It's dumb. <laughs> So let me hold a gun up to your head. No, you, wait, hold on, bro. Where are you going? You haven't lived. You've almost died. Yeah, yeah. Diving, gymnastics. I don't want to swim with the sharks. Yeah, dude. I like. Oh, swimming is in, impressive too. Dude. Yeah. I can watch swimming. I, I, I really feel like that's about it. I like ice skating, though. I'm not gonna lie. I do like ice skating. I won't watch ice skating, but I like it. Yeah, I like um. Yeah, I like the summer events a lot better. Oh. I do like curling, though. See, curling is like... It's interesting, Curling dude. is like baseball to me. It's like once you understand the pitching, you kind of understand curling a little bit It's more. just like... It's, it's just like... It's grown men on ice without skates using yeah. brooms to manipulate weighted weights yeah. to play a game of... So what's that like, stuff called about where you play on the at the bar and you slide the things and there's that's called shuffleboard Shuff, but, it's like playing shuffleboard on ice but curling with brooms. uses curling uses stones and they uh they smooth the ice out to make the ball i mean to make the stone go faster or slower or if they use like like slower strokes it roughens the ice a little bit making it slow down yeah, it's just dude it's like it's such a like it's so weird. Like it's like, it's really how like, do they come? Up with it's a t it's a team sport, to be honest. It really is because yeah, there's a guy, there's the guy who throws it, yeah. it like who, who who you know, and you got to be, you got to have the right velocity. You can't go too fast. Yeah. So I mean, does that mean that like NASCAR racing is a team sport? Because essentially. Yeah. The driver is kind of dependent on how fast his pit crew works. Yeah, we well, yeah, absolutely. And I would say now, and one plus, like they're communicating with his like with his pit and stuff. Oh my god, dude! There is so many freaking, so much pressure that I am constantly getting hit when I throw on the balls, or whatever. But yeah, dude, it's like yeah, because like if his pit crew screws up, that can like costing like a second in NASCAR is a lot. Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. Never thought about that. Yeah, it's as like far it's as not the same sort of team. It's oh my god, am I gonna get it? Don't you? Eh. Close, close, mother, close. son of a. Very close. Yeah, dude, he's stupid. As far as winter sports, I think winter sports are pretty bad. Eh, you know, this is like snowboarding. Oh yeah, dude. Ski jump. Ski jump, dude. That is the bobsled, is dude. Ski jump. I don't understand how a person can go that fast down a hill that high into the air land on their feet with the same legs that i have underneath my body and not send their legs into their brain <laughs> like why are your knees not sticking out of the top of your head dude i get it Ow. it's like it's like they they've been Ow. they've mastered the no. soft landing no jonas and i get what you and, and somebody who's a physics major is like well skis add proper weight distribution so it 
the impact is distributed all over the... You know what? Shut up. Yeah, it's not like when you jump off a garage and land flat-footed and break your legs. Yeah, exactly. I get it that the skis distribute the impact from the shut-up. You know what? It still doesn't make sense to my eyes. All right? Yeah. My eyes don't understand how this can be. Yeah, snowboarding's cool. Like, I like snowboarding because they have, like, the two different events. They do, they do the one where it's, like, almost like a street course, but it's, like... It's they're like going Street course. But it's like uh it's like going down hills and they and then they have the other one that is like a snow half pipe. Freaking SS tricky. Yeah, dude, it's like SS tricky and then they have like the half pipe. Dude, you know what else I really like watching is skateboarding. Uh is that is that a I think it's an Olympics game? That's just esports. Uh, it might be in the Olympics now. I mean, I not esports, but uh, X, yeah, X, X, games. Street, X Games. I they they've moved sports, I think, into the Olympics. Yeah, X Games isn't as big as it used to be. It seems too. Yeah, like X Games was in Austin. It was supposed to be in Austin for five years, and after and after uh, and after three years, they because it just like it. I think X Games has. Oh, look at this fast guy. I think X Games has. Oh, and he pulls my face mask because I go into the end zone. What did he do? Um. Yeah, it's just, I think it's, it's, I think, I, I swear that <laughs> skateboarding went to the Olympics. I don't know for sure. Either way, as far as X Games, though, I guess, you know, like, skateboarding's amazing. I really like the guys who just, like, what do you call it, the flat top bikers who just, like, spin their bikes around and, like, I, try to balance. It didn't even pop up a gauge. <laughs> and try to balance their bikes on, like, one tire. Oh, the BMX. Yeah, they just like balance their bike on one tire and they're like standing on a peg and they're like flipping their bike around with one foot and stuff. That is just amazing, dude. Yeah, where they do like, it's like the street course. Yeah, I've never had good enough balance to even like balance on like in a wheelchair on the back wheels. I can't even do that. Like I will just fall over. I don't understand how people do it. Yeah, the, the, the street course stuff is super interesting. Like... I just, I think all, of it, it's like the amount of time you have to put into something like that to get good, and then like, to compete at that level, and then, I don't know, dude. The, they do that crazy skateboard stuff where they do the big jump, where it's like, it's like the ski jump, but they're on a skateboard. They do big skateboard jumps? Mm -hmm. That just seems really stupid to me. And people land, dude. They do all sorts of, <laughs> people land, and they don't break dude. themselves, dude. And people land, dude. Like, I, okay, look, so ski ski jump, my brain does it doesn't process in my brain, but I get it. Snow, skis, uh, padding. Velocity, I get it. yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just speaking for all the things that, you know, soften the landing. We're talking snow, we got skis, we got the padding that the person is wearing. Skateboarding? Like, <laughs> dude, you're wearing vans. It's wood vans and a wood Yo, board. You're wearing a flat. <laughs> Sold vans with no art support. How are you not dead? Yeah, or uh, all stars. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> Chucks. Yeah, so I, I don't know about that. Big skateboard jumps. This sounds crazy. But I, then again, I see people going up like super big half pipes, and I'm just like, I don't know how you can be horizontal with the world and not slide off the board and land on your face. Yeah. I mean, and of course, some people do slide off the board and land on their face. But You know what I found ridiculously interesting that I didn't even know was a thing and then I happened to watch it, I think, for, like three or four years and just randomly on the X Games? They do motocross high jump where they take yeah. dirt bikes and they do high jump. Okay. That ish okay. is ridiculous. Yeah, I've seen that before. It is so cool. To watch. Like, how do you yeah. get the bike up? And they have to take it up and over the pole and down? I'm like, no. Yo, honestly, I forgot about the motocross X Games. Yeah, that, that stuff is pretty good, too. Yeah, they do like the, the, they do like the big jumps on that, too. Like, yeah. they do the Supermans and backflips and stuff. And you're like, you are insane. Yeah, I'm not mad at the motocross racing when they're like going around the course. It's basically uh, what's the Nintendo game, Jones? What am I thinking? Oh, uh, like Super Off Road? No, or... Excite Bike. Jones. Oh, Excite Bike, yeah. It's basically like an Excite Bike race. Ah, I kind of yeah. I have with that. That's some good ish. Yeah, like those dirt courses. Yeah, that stuff is like and they do that with BMX bikes too. Yeah, and I but, like that too. Dude, that's so much lake power. You're just BMXing around a dirt track. Dude, yeah. get out of here. I was watching a video of a guy who strapped a GoPro to his BMX helmet, I mean to his helmet while right. he was doing one of those tracks, yeah. and it was terrifying. 
absolutely like just like with he was competing so there was like other people no just... it was just him like just kind of like freestyling the track but it was still terrifying the fact that he goes up so high and you gotta like put the nose of your bike down to like hit the hit the ramp on landing just right it was right like, yeah you, know. you have like people are just like oh dude it's just dirt you're like no, no. you have to like <laughs> angle your bike not. properly or you die exactly you have to hit the hit the um the proper slope <laughs> like nope get out of my face dude I'm good like when i think about it jonas i don't know if i could do any olympic event because like i would break my neck if i tried to do gymnastics uh i can swim i guess but not i mean i guess that would probably be it i don't want to like deal with the shot put because i'd drop it on myself or impale myself with a pole vault or a javelin Ooh, aggressive man made him lose. So yeah, I guess I guess swimming is all I got. I'm definitely I've always wanted to learn to skateboard, but I don't want to hurt. I don't want to get hurt, dude. Yeah. And you yeah. have to get hurt to learn to skateboard. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's no getting around it. I had there was the like the street I grew up on, there was two kids. They were neighborhood kids that lived at the end of the road. And they they had skateboards when I was young and like I would just like we would be in like my garage. We had like a, a concrete floor in the garage yeah. that was like very smooth, and like they like to the ride there. When my dad's truck wasn't in there, and I would like just ride it like across the garage and back, you know, just like <laughs> the tw twelve foot or whatever it is. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, "Yeah, this is terrifying. I'm good. I'm gonna break myself. I'm sure." <laughs> like I just I wanted to do it so bad, but I knew better, dude. I knew what was gonna happen. Right. Do you think it's kind of odd the way that, like, skateboarding, even to this day, is, like, still super popular? It might not be, like, you know, like, X Games is kind of falling out of favor, sure, but skateboarding is still super popular, but yet roller skating is, like, not even heard of. Dude, you know what's interesting is the other day I was sitting at my desk working, and a man, probably 50 years old, rode by on rollerblades he had on knee pads elbow pads and a helmet he looked he was probably 50 it was like nine o'clock in the morning i was like <laughs> dude just gets up and goes rollerblading at night and yeah. that was the thing that was supposed to be the next step and then like i think it was it may have even been like the uh the uh what do you call that the canonical rollerblader that kind of killed roller skating as a whole because it became synonymous with just kind of like a level of douchebaggery yeah and then i think and then like roller skates came back in i think roller skates are more popular than no. than roller blades now there's still roller ranks dude i've never seen a person ever roller skate on reddit one time ever well, just because this happened on reddit I've, I've seen a hundred thousand people skateboard though well, yeah, but I'm saying, like, if between the options of rollerblading and roller skates, I think people do more roller skating still. I was just speaking about the fact that roller skating is dead and skateboarding kind of took its place. Yeah, I'll say that's I, all right. I, I, yeah, I agree. I don't, I don't know. Go get some roller skates, kids. Yeah, if you roller skate, link us to a YouTube video. Yeah, dude, I want to see some X roller skates. <laughs> but uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. This dude does Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town at Heck Twitch.tv. Yeah. All right, for Jonas, we'll catch you on the next one. We are uh, Uta.